Thanks, Holly, and thank you to everyone who is joining us this morning. Again, my name is Andrea Ray, and I serve as the Regional Field Director for the National Skills Coalition. And in this capacity, I serve as the lead staff person to the Skills to Compete Indiana campaign, um, which has just released the report. Holly mentioned Indiana's Forgotten Middle Skill Jobs. I would like to start the call off with some brief comments on the National Skills Coalition and the key findings of our just released report. Then I will turn the call over to our campaign's lead partner, Sarah Downing, of the Indiana Institute for Working Families, a program of the Indiana Community Action, Coalition, Community Action Association. Um, and hopefully we'll also have a key employer spokesperson on our call very shortly, Jennifer Olson of Clarion Health Partners. The National Skills Coalition is a coalition of community-based training organizations, community and technical colleges, labor unions, business and industry leaders, state and local workforce investment boards, and leading technical and research, technical assistance and research organizations. Together we seek an America that grows its economy by investing in its people so that every worker and every industry has the skills to compete and prosper. We have coalition members in 30 states, including Indiana. The Skills to Compete Indiana campaign is being led by our coalition member, um, as we noted earlier in the call, Indiana Institute for Working Families. And advisory members to the campaign include Connexus, Job Source, the Indiana Department of Workforce Development, the Indiana State AFL-CIO, Ivy Tech Community College, Labor Institute for Training, Local Initiative Support Corporation, Ready Indiana, and Training Inc. Here are the key findings of the campaign's report, Indiana's Forgotten Middle Skill Jobs. Through our analysis of data from the U.S. Census Bureau and the Bureau of Labor Statistics, we found that more than 487,000 middle skill job openings are projected for the state by 2016. Middle skill jobs are jobs that require education and training past high school, but not necessarily a four-year college degree. While these openings signal new opportunities for Indiana's workforce, there is growing concern that there will not be enough Indiana workers to fill these positions. About 55% of jobs in Indiana are classified as middle skill, and yet only 49% of Indiana workers likely have the credentials to fill them. Over the next decade, the proportion of low-skill workers in Indiana's workforce is expected to increase at the same time that the percentage of middle-skill workers is projected to decline, which will continue to widen the skills gap. The report also finds that nearly two-thirds of people who will be in Indiana's workforce in the year 2020 were already working adults in 2005. What this tells us is that just focusing on educating and training high school students won't solve Indiana's middle skill shortage. Adults who are in low-wage, low-skill jobs, who are unemployed or recently laid off, or who yet don't yet have the basic math and reading skills to enter a training program, must also be part of Indiana's solution to address its middle skill shortage. So the real takeaways from these data points are, Middle skill jobs make up the largest segment of jobs in Indiana's economy and will con continue to do so for years to come. Many of these jobs are pay well and their workers are the backbone of the state. Examples of middle skill jobs include nurses, electricians, welders, and truck drivers. These are local hands-on jobs, meaning they are unlikely to be outsourced to other countries. However, while these jobs will continue to thrive in Indiana, there is a deepening skills gap among the current workforce. As a result, we are likely to see grave shortages in critical occupations, significantly limiting Indiana's potential for full economic recovery. As the state hopefully moves from recession into recovery, employers will likely once again face the challenge of finding quality middle skill workers, slowing the pace of economic growth. So Indiana must ensure that its workforce has the necessary education and training to meet the labor market demands of the future. 